no, this ain't politics or, you know, whether Big Mama's the best pickle sausage to eat while you're out on the water or what toilet paper you need to bring out. We're starting a real argument. What's the best jig color for crappy fishing? There it is. It's out on the table, guys. You know, keep, keep the discussions civil. But, you know, most anglers have probably you know hundreds of colors and hundreds of this hundreds of that they got 20 different profiles but come on let's be honest 95 percent of us use the same things every time we go out 90 90 percent of fishermen do we're headed to the store we're at walmart academy sportsman warehouse we're online at crappymanjigs.com and we want you know we see a gold color well we, you're like man that day when it's a light rain the wind's blowing five mile an hour and i'm on top of a brush pile in 12 foot of water they're gonna bite this gold jig so we buy it and then it sits in our tackle box for years and years and years we'll break it out and it won't be in the water for like three minutes and we're already putting that confidence back on because one of the major keys to crab fishing is confidence but being the scientific research most fish see color and many studies point to sunfish like bass crappie or brim being able to see different color groups as well as most other freshwater fish just like people they have both rods and cones in their eyes so they are able to see contrasting whites and blacks even in low light but also recognize color when enough light is available now many factors can determine how well colors come through now you know just like we're here in the woods taking a little walk with our puppy dog fish are just like the shades and stuff in this tree as the light penetrates from the sun you're able to see shade uh, under these leaves and stuff so when you're fishing You've got to realize that even under a dock, you may be fishing the brightest pink jig. You may be fishing a crappy man green. But if there's no light going through the boards of that dock, what the fish is probably seeing is black. They just don't look the same through the water as they do in broad daylight. You know, water clarity, light penetration and depth, and even the water temperature can affect how a fish sees colors. Now it's true, bright colors like white and chartreuse are gonna hold its own in stained to dirty water. But colors like red really only last about five feet in the water column before they disappear. Now we did a study a couple years ago when I first started YouTube and we figured out blue is probably one of the better colors in muddy water as far as the human eye can see but as you get really deeper underwater because we did that test in like a couple inches of water but the deeper you get your purple and your blacks really really stand out so if you're fishing water with a little bit of stain a black or a purple is going to be better for fishing say 20 to 30 feet for those big slabs many anglers know from lake to lake there will be certain colors that work better and it's kind of hard to explain except if you kind of know what their natural fours looks like but if you did a survey of 90 percent of the crappy anglers in america i can guarantee you most of them are going to say chartreuse or most of them are going to say black so in my opinion you could really probably pair up chartreuse with basically any other color and be able to get crappy to bite which is why you know the crappy man as he owned his craft he realized you know if you don't know the story of crappy man green we started off with a green on green jig that you bought from walmart that was already pre-rigged it was a tube jig and it was a darker green with a chartreuse green uh the little tails on it little frizzly things and he ended up going from that 
to another brand and you know he asked the guy i want the brightest chartreuse that you can make so the guy made it and then he ended up going his own way and he figured out a way to make the brightest chartreuse in my opinion that i've ever seen and thus crappy man green was born because you know he unknowingly knew that he always got a bite fishing with a green a chartreuse or a green now without him knowing after creating crappy man green what it was doing under the water and now with live scope you can kind of tell you know how the fish are reacting the springtime you know you're fishing probably one foot to five foot of water and they're able to see the chartreuse really well so and it stays out and those male fish are going to get angry at it and bite it but what a lot of people don't realize when you start getting deeper you know that 10 to 20 to 30 foot the deeper that chartreuse the crappy man green goes down the more it's going to transform under the water because the light penetration is going to affect how that crappy sees and you're already fishing a minnow profile with the crappy man green little minnow so their lateral lines are already keyed in on this bait so as that bait's falling in the water column what's happening is the light penetration is on top of that jig casting a shadow and it's making the top of the bait a little bit darker and you got that bottom of it a little bit chartreuse and when you're fishing docks the same key thing is happening you, you throw beside a dock there's boards on docks and the light penetration are going through those boards so the crappy up under that dock are using their lateral lines to say hey there's a bait in the area and i want to go eat it and when they look up towards that bait there's you know the boards are casting a shadow so it's kind of like a black jig and then that light hits it and you get a shine of chartreuse on it and bam they're like dang that's a daggone minnow over there <laughs> now i know a lot of this is just you know almost impossible just to explain on a video i'm trying to explain it the best way i can but at the same time basically what i'm saying is black and chartreuse have one on your pole at all times but mix it up i mean you can get a black and blue a black and silver a black and gold and those are going to work really well in your deeper depths but in my opinion if you're fishing anywhere 10 foot or less i would have chartreuse on some part of that jig one last thing about the chartreuse is you know i've been explaining a lot you know key in it looks like a bait fish and a lot of people are probably like dude that's a bright old green yellow looking jig how does that key in as a bait fish well i'm just gonna say fry and i'm gonna leave it at that I, that's why it matches the forage and that's why when you got a complete chartreuse jig or a black and chartreuse jig as that light penetration look at my hand let's see if i can i don't even know if i'm getting this on camera but you see how my hand gets lighter hang on let me go this way my hand gets lighter so this is your jig falling in the water it's got light 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 and as it goes down you see how dark it gets now it's going to see chartreuse right here you'll see chartreuse but you see how there's a line on my hand because of the trees we're thinking this is a dock this part right here is going to be black and this part is going to be chartreuse and now it's going to be completely black you know this is you know 10 foot or 10 foot or more depending on your water clarity bam chartreuse they see chartreuse 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 bam it's black and chartreuse Whew. That, that was a lot to say i, I honestly hope y'all y'all understand this like uh, th this whole video is just to explain what's happening under the water and I kind of just trying to do stuff different. So, but how can we do a video about black and chartreuse and not even sell black and chartreuse? So, lo and behold, I'm bringing the, the goblin color back. Now, this is going to be a black top minnow. And it's going to be a darker green because when that black hits the green, 
when you're making the jig it's going to turn it a little bit darker so it's not going to be the bright bright crappy man green i'm gonna, I'm gonna get it as bright as you can but i'm gonna throw these up on the website now and i'm gonna go make some here tonight and hopefully get a couple pictures up in the next couple days but <clears throat> i'm gonna call it goblin because i i, I sold that color a couple years ago so it'll be on the website <clears throat> if it does good it'll stay if it don't i'll take it off so that's up to you guys at home and if you haven't already consider becoming a member down below it's like a dollar 99 to support the channel every little bit counts especially during the summer times when a lot of jig sales are slow and also i'm rideless right now so we trying to get to the lake guys anyway i'll catch y'all on the next one